Oh yeah. Time to shoot five people in the face. And reel them in. Whack them upside the head with a dirty danger, dinger, donkey, swinger, wanger, dinger, dung slinger. Yeah. <clears throat> I smell fresh blood. Where it went though? I lost it already. I smell some dirty danger wanger slinger dinger danger donger banger. Wait, what? Oh, you gotta hold it. I forgot. Come here, baby. Come to daddy. And I you in the face with my dinger danger and wear slanger bajanger reload nice and slow slow time go ahead throw that let's get that out of the way nice and early oh you want to drop back down thought you were slick how about you you think you're slick hmm Danger, wanger, slinger. Hold the wool, did you? Come on over, get to the window. I got a smack in the face for you. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Get on up. Get on up on that hook. And shut your face. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. What are you doing, huh? <laughs> Do you see already? Come on, man. Come on. Have a little fun, man. Who knows? I'm gonna let you live. Why you gotta do that? Why you gotta do that to your team? Uh, such a juice bag. Okay. I need some more dirty day. Why you guys like? Come on. Let's go. Should I light the pentimento fire? Come on, baby, light my pentimento fire. Shall we? Let's do it. Light that fire. <clears throat> Here's the danger wanger slanger. Now, let's go. Where are you running to, boy? your shirt back on. Stop being indecent. Respect your grandpa. Pa. Oh man, I'm tired. Oh, he's back on it. Tinkering with my gins again. A little naked piece of trash you are. Alright, sunny boy. Just can't stop touching it, can you? Can't stop tinkering with it. Touching it again, are we? Time to get your dinger dinger wanger slinger. What should be touching my totem? What should be touching my totem? He ran right past me. Should be tinkering with my totem, boy. Get it back over here, you filthy little piece of trash. Oh, 
Grandpa Pa's got a present for you. It's a harpoon spear gun to the face. It's Grandpa's Redeemer. Good old Redeemer. It's happening in these parts. It's happening in this neck of the woods. Grandpa's going to redeem it. Come on, show yourself. Little trash bags. Little scum balls. Slime buckets. Touch my thingy majigger. Don't you be messing with my hex. That's right, my boy. That's right, you little dinger dinger. What you doing, huh? What you doing, boy? Little oblivious, are we? I don't think he's oblivious. I think he's on first hook. Didn't even get blade thing yet. Alright, my boy, now you're gonna be oblivious. Oblivious to all that's coming your way. In your face. What you doing there, huh? What you got happening with my ex? You been tinkering with my goodies, huh? Let's go for a little slip and slide. I don't like your hair, do Meg. You look like a boy. You look like a boy, Meg. It means you're gonna have to fight like a man, Meg. Be in the face with my dinger dinger winger slinger. That's right. That's right. Let's go. Give me some more of them tea bags. That's right, let's go. That's a little target practice for you. Come with me. I don't like your hair, dude. Get up on that hook. You look like a man. Disgusting. Filthy, what's happening with this piece of slime scumball? Come on, you scuzz bucket. Let's go. Come to Daddy Danger Winger Slinger. Scuzz bucket slime ball. Let's go, you pig. You little pig, come to this side. Come to Daddy Danger Winger Slinger, that's right. Is there your old grandpa? -pa? <clears throat> He's got a harpoon gun for you. He's got a spear gun that's called the Redeemer. Time to get redeemed, you little scuzz bucket. Let's go for a little slip and slide ride. Stop dressing like a man. With your short hair. Filthy. Disgusting. You look like a boy, you get spanked like a boy. That's right. What's happening over here, huh? What's good in these parts? What you doing in this neck of the woods? 
little bit of light weight we got. Vault it back, dear. Vault it back. That's right. Vault it right back. Oh, nice move. Nice move. Almost. Not quite. Get up on this hook, please. You be tinkering with me totems. Oh, really? What you doing there? It's about a little pentimento. Has a little bit of pentimento on your plaything, my jiggy. Let's go, dear. Grandpa's got to get his shot on. <clears throat> Grandpa Paul. <clears throat> Needs a little target practice. Grandpa Paul needs his target practice. <laughs> Grandpa Paul needs to practice his aim. <laughs> Get rid of these pallets for Grandpa Paul. Don't make a wrong turn. Don't you make a wrong turn. Grandpa's got a little something something for you. In the face. Let's go. Bring it on back now, baby. Make a smack. A seat. Call of Duty. Grandpa's coming to get ya. Grandpa's coming to get ya. That's right, buddy. Now you know what? Now you're in big trouble, sonny boy. Now you're in big trouble. You can get away with smacking Grandpa Paw in the face. Where are your manners, my boy? Somebody never taught you manners? You don't be smacking your grandpa on the face. He's a dirty danger wanger slagger. Let's test this out real quick. Yeah, you get up there. That's right. That's right. <laughs> What's going on, Meg? Looking like a boy. You got spared. You got spared, Meg. Interesting. What's happening in these parts? Where's the little naked man? Where's the little naked man?
Mm, looking for that little naked man. That was about a little pentimento. Put a little pentimento on it. It's a naked man. All healed up, are we? All back in tip top shape, are we now? Who's been tinkering with the gem, huh? Who's been tinkering with it? Tinkering with me gems, eh? Are ye now? Is that so? Is that so? Let's get a little eruption value. <laughs> That's what I thought. That's what I thought. <laughs> Yeah, put you down. You're not the one we want. <clears throat> you got lucky. You're not the one we want. No, sir. No, ma'am. You're just not the one we want. We want the little naked man. The little hero. Who hit Grandpapa on the face with a pen? Hmm. Where's the little hero who hit Grandpapa on the face with a pallet? I know where he is. I think I know where he is. Oh, yeah. This one. He's around here somewhere. There you are. Grandpa Pa's been looking for you, boy. That's right, Grandpa's been looking for you. He wants to give you a little smack in the face for that pallet stun earlier. That's right. He wants to teach you some respect. He wants you to put some respect on his name. Some respect on Grandpa's name, that's right. Put some respect on Grandpa's name. That's right. Put some respect on Grandpa. Put some respect on Grandpa. Put a little respect on your Grandpa. Alright, boy, let's go. Let's get you some respect on Grandpa's name. Let's put you some respect on it. Gotta buy a little time here. Gotta buy ourselves a little time here. Try to be nice. Try to be nice to you. You take Grandpa's kindness for weakness, don't you? You want to be taking Grandpa's kindness for weakness, don't you? Well, hello, Sonny. Let's go. Grandpa's been looking for you, my boy. That's right. You don't want to be taking Grandpa's kindness for weakness, right? All right, boy. Time to go. Let's go for a little slip and slide. A little ride with Grandpa. -pa. <laughs> Ooh. 
Nice chance, boy. Wanna be slick, huh? Wanna be slick with Grandpa. Trying to be slick with Grandpa, huh? Don't you know Grandpa Pa was a sharpshooter in the Vietnam War? That's right. Yeah. One of them's getting married. It's just a matter of which one. Which one's it gonna be? Who wants the Mori? Let's put a little pentimento on it. Come on, baby, light my fire. I'm trying to set the night on fire. One of them gets the Mori. Which one? The naked man? Or the ugly boy, Meg? The manly looking Meg? Which one? Who gets it? Who wants it? Who's gonna get the Mori? Who gonna get the Mori, huh? Yeah. Let's go, boy. Let's go. Let's go, my boy. Think you're all slick. This grandpa's going easy on you. I'll be all slick with Grandpa Paul. Trying to be all slick with Grandpa Paul. That's right, that's right. Have a seat for Grandpa. It's my boy. Grandpa's little sissy boy. All right, it's getting old. Someone's getting moried. The other two can leave. Yeah. Um, as I kind of started to like this guy. Who dies? Which one dies? They're all death hook. Who gets the Mori? Who's gonna get the Mori? That's the question. Who's getting the Mori? Mm -mm. It was gonna be the naked Vittorio, but kind of having a change of heart. Kind of having a change of heart. We'll see if that lasts. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. He's so slow. Oh, it just vanished like that, huh? No, you didn't. No, she didn't. How? Really lightweight is going to do that. Bamboozled, huh? Did 
Take it, take it away, Slayer, there. Yeah. Too tired. All right, come on. Grab my daily ritual. Let's, let's get this over with. This has gone on too long. Someone's got to die. Someone's got to die. Someone's got to die. Are you serious? No way. Let's go, buddy. They're actually going to get out. None of them get the Mori. Yeah, he's out. Ah, they all got out. None of them got the Mori. I just waited too long. I kept giving them chances. I was going to let them out anyway, but I wanted to Mori one of them. basically let them live. I did let them live because of the, D the DC. But, uh...
It's, it's funny because I was thinking of it like I was going to mori one of them. And I was just like not doing it. Obviously, I stood over every one of them and could have mori them. And I was just kidding around like, okay, well, which one do I want to mori? I wanted to mori the Vittorio, but then I kind of like took a liking to him. And at first I wanted to mori the Meg. And then, then the Vittorio was doing like the body blogging and stuff. So I was like, oh, I should mori this one. But then I actually kind of took a liking to him. I was like, oh, I don't want to mori him. Anymore. And then the Yui was like, actually, I didn't see that much of her. Like she wasn't doing any, any like plays where it was like catching my attention. So she wasn't like on my radar. I was just going to let her live. And then she started being like a big shot and I was like, huh, maybe I should mori the Yui. But that's the one that I liked the most actually that I like, wasn't even thinking about thinking about mori, mori. And it turns out to be the one that is like the most retarded, toxic little cockroach that I should have moried and it goes to show you that whenever killers are like going easy going nice and like not being toxic and sweaty like I was being toxic by hitting on the hook but I was just doing that to be funny I wasn't actually trying to be like toxic but it, meaning when killers are like like there was a DC in the very beginning of the game you're telling me I couldn't kill them every one of them was on death hook I stood over every single one of them where it gave me the Mori emblem I could have Moried any one of them at any time could have also hooked them the Vittorio how many times I slugged him could have hooked him the Meg I'm pretty sure I slugged could have hooked and I was just playing around with them like letting them live and I honestly was gonna probably Mori one of them but at the end, they just got out because I just waited too long and kept it going on. Anyway, point being is you go easy on them. You, you don't tunnel. You don't camp. You don't like... You're literally letting them live because there's a DC. And then you get this little toxic trash talking cockroach. And it all I'm saying is it makes it so the next game you go in, you just want to like kill everybody like you don't care anymore because the ones that you're the nicest to talk the most trash and you could say like i could say good game let you live like right it was obvious i let them live how many times could i have killed them and i did it right i let them live because of the dc it's true like when they dc'd plus besides the fact all i was trying to get was my daily ritual it's the only reason i was playing death slinger i didn't care about getting kills so I knew when I said, like, I knew when I said, good game, let you live. I knew that at least one of them was going to be like, sure you did. And that's exactly what I got right there. Sure you did. Surprised me it was the Yui. I thought it would have been the Vittorio. But he turned out to be chill. Like, he just started, like, mending, like, healing in front of me. I, he he kind of, like, gave up the fight in a way. So... Yeah, so he just said, seemed more like you slugged me over and over, lol, right? That was the Vittorio, right? He was he was chill. I'm glad I didn't more him. Right? I'm like, yes, I let you live. And so he says, good good game, well played, good luck, next match. He was chill. I'm glad I didn't more him. See, I changed my mind. I was like, I, I took a liking to this guy, right? So the Pookie, this idiot, the, the Yui... That like towards the end, that's actually the one I wanted to mori. Because I was like feeling them out. And I was like, no, I'm like, which one should I mori? And I kept changing my mind. I was like, not that. It was going to be the Meg because she looks like a boy at first. Right? There's a Meg, right? Yeah. She looks like a boy. I'm like, and I was messing with her. Oh, you look like a boy, whatever. But then the Vittorio caught my attention doing his like shenanigans with the block or pallet stun and all that. But you know what? He's just good. He's just doing good. He's doing what he's supposed to be doing. So, um, and then towards the end, I was like, I want to mori this Yui probably because you could kind of tell by the way she was playing, like a little cockiness about her. Right. But I just didn't get to, I lost track of her and got back on, uh, the Vittoria. Right. So then I'm like, so I'm like, yeah, I got up. You got outplayed by three men. I'm like, okay, because of the DC, I let you guys live. I'll say it again. I let you live because of the DC. This this little toxic cockroach. Sure, blah, blah, sure. Like, you're so stupid. How many times, like, maybe they didn't see how many times I slugged the other person and could have killed them, moored them, hooked them, 
several times, like over and over. I'm like, how many times can I book you? The other one says, good luck and have fun on the next seat. They were chill. That was the, the Meg. See, I'm glad I didn't worry them. And then I'm like, yeah, idiots. Well, I meant just this once an idiot. The other two were chill. So Pookie's like salty L U L like lol. Like what is that supposed to be like L O L, but just a typo. I'm like people like you make killers toxic. Yeah. Cause I was just happy to have a decent match. Yeah. The Meg was cool. I thought you did. Okay. More killers, more killers make killers toxic. I said, we go easy on you and let you live and you talk trash. You were all on death hook. Pookie says, you brag, you let us win. That is being toxic. I'm not being toxic, actually. I was just letting him know, like, yeah, I, I went easy on you. Didn't kill you when I could have. I said, I let you live because of the DC. Because they could have, I, I think the two knew. Like, the Meg knew, the Vittorio knew. Because I slugged them over and over, didn't hook them. The stupid you, he couldn't figure it out. It's, it's always, like, the one that is not really that good that thinks they're the best. I'm like, I let you live because DC, I don't know what part you don't get. The, <laughs> the Meg said, that's Pookie. Although I should have used my mark. Pookie said, you you lost, so you say you let us win because you blow goats. <laughs> so the Meg says, I salute you, my guy, gal. I'm not talking trash. As I could have married any one of you. <laughs> Kuvix, the, the Victoria said you should go back at Mori Pookie. They seem like they want it. And Pookie says, nah, I don't salute trash. I throw it away. This one says Pookie. Gaming is gaming for me, says well. See, I wasn't reading all this. I was just reading like snippets of it. Kuvix, uh, the Victoria says, you left me to phase on the hook. I said, it makes me wish I did more of them when they talk trash. <laughs> so see, now the, even the Vittorio is talking trash to the Yui saying, you left me on phase, left me to phase on the hook while you didn't complete a gen. The Meg says, I'm going to head out. Good night, all. <laughs> the Vittorio says, and Meg was in chase. And I'm like, anyway, wonderful. <laughs> and it's gaming. The Meg said, gave you a follow. See, I'm glad I didn't mori them, Megan. I'm glad I didn't. And yeah, had I made the mistake and moried them, you know. Uh, and you know what? I bet you anything, had I moried them, they would have been cool about it. Like if I killed them, they would have still been cool. Because cool people are cool in this game and idiots are idiots. Insane. Like toxic little cockroaches is what I call them. And they are, they are like that no matter what. Like had I won, they would be toxic. Had I lost, they would be toxic. Had I let them live, they'd be toxic. Had... I moried them, they'd be toxic. That's just how it is. So, the Victoria says, good luck next, Mac Troll. <laughs> As like, it's on record. I could have moried any one of you. So, Pookie says, this guy falls for troll talk. LOL, predictable. It's still going on. I'm like, like, I mean, be a troll if you want, but you didn't outplay me. They said, here comes more. I said, like Thanks. I said. What? Hello? You're still in my gaming live. Am I? Yeah, you are. Oh, nice. About to just do another round. I was just about to go back into Survivor. Are you, are you down? Yeah, I'm fine. I was playing killer. I just got these little toxic cockroaches. Oh, okay. Well, actually, just one. The other two were cool. Okay. That's so funny. I didn't even know that I didn't leave your... Yeah, you're in here still. God King, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> one, two, three, four. <laughs> uh, you're here. You're going back okay. to Survivor? Yeah, I'm going back to Survivor if you want to play. Yeah, I'm just doing like killer daily rituals. Oh, okay. Ugh, I swear, like certain survivors, they make killers want to be toxic. I was so nice to them, I literally just like let them live and then you get these little trash talkers. Mm. Are you still in a match? No, I was just like in the, just like sitting there. I'm exiting. 
come join us. What'd you do, you killer Demogorgon? Oh, I was Demogorgon, and then I was Knight, and it was very difficult. I didn't understand really what to do, but... Yeah, his power is weird. Like, when I yeah, see people power. use it most effectively, it's like they use it for camping. I did it for a camping for a minute just to see how it would be, but it was still hard. It was still, like, really hard to, like do what I need to do like it doesn't give you like the aura of when somebody gets knocked down like you actually have to find them it's just really weird I still gotta get the hang of that are you guys in all no I'm waiting for you Ladies and gentlemen, we have one slot open if anybody would like to play. Mr. Brooks, would you like to play? You could, you're more than welcome to. Were you out of your Discord the whole time? Yeah, I was out of my Discord. <laughs> you just come back and hear somebody talking? Yeah, I came back and you were talking. I was like, wait a minute, he's in here. <laughs> yeah, you'll join? All right, let me know. Come come into Discord if you like. Let me open my Discord. 